exit the state of Nebraska this morning as it shifts to our southeast behind it and northerly winds which are brisk drawing in colder air we've also got snow that's shifting into the panhandle of Nebraska this morning we could see some snow accumulation in those locations beginning to try to move into the parts of the local four viewing area around or into the afternoon hours um, we might sneak in a little sun today around the middle of the day right in here I'll back this up a little bit you can see a little pocket of clearing for a time, but I think the clouds will fill back in uh, this afternoon. Meanwhile, that snow will be uh, shifting to the southeast. So right in here, there could be some light snow this afternoon and into the evening hours right in here. Don't expect a whole lot out of this, but a little bit of flakes, a few flakes flying, a little bit of accumulation, not out of the question. It would be blowing snow, too, so maybe a reduction in the visibility. Tri-Cities, it wouldn't probably be till about 10 o'clock, 10, 11, 12, 1 a.m., when we could get a little bit of very light snow, but watch how this model and most models actually kind of dissipated as it moved into the dry cities area. Meanwhile, the winds are gonna stay brisk overnight out of the north, so as it gets colder and colder, it's not gonna be real nice overnight. Some clearing starts to happen tomorrow morning, and then during the day tomorrow, clearing skies, wind staying strong out of the north tomorrow with colder air still in place, not a real nice day. The only thing nice about tomorrow is that the sunshine returns, but there it is. Warm front's gonna push east across the area tomorrow night into Friday morning, a west and northwest wind behind it. That will help quickly boost our temperatures as we head into your Friday in the upcoming weekend. So snowfall totals first here as I'm not expecting much snow later today and tonight, but can't rule out some very minor accumulation. I think most of these places will probably be at most maybe a quarter to a half inch of snowfall. These numbers are up to around an inch or so. That would be a pretty low end chance of that. Maybe out here to the west. But for most of us, I'm not expecting too much snow accumulation later today and this evening. Tri-Cities, probably nothing out of this storm system, uh, if you want to call it that. But the heavier snows will be to our south. So highest today, topping out upper 20s up north. There will be some 40s down to the south today. Lower, maybe mid 40s here. Most of us will be in the 30s for highs today. And that wind will make it feel colder, though. And then tonight, single digits and teens. But with that wind still brisk overnight, Wind chills down in the single digits to near 10 below zero tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, a cold day, still pretty chilly out there as we'll see highs from around 30 out east to around 40 out here to the west. Tomorrow night, not as cold, 20s, a few teens out there. And then look at the jump in temperatures coming in on Friday, 50s, mid and upper 50s on Friday, near 60 in northern Kansas. And we'll see those temperatures jump even more heading into the weekend. Uh, so there it is, the big jump in temperatures on Friday, a bit of a breezy day so the fire danger is going to be back up at an elevated uh, level same thing on saturday with stronger winds highs around 60 should be a beautiful sunday winds won't be as strong mid 60s then here comes the big drop in temperature starting on president's day monday the temperature will drop down into the 30s it'll be windy there is a small chance of snow i don't think we'll see much with that uh, Monday afternoon into Monday evening i don't think we'll see a big snow out of that if we even see anything at all but then uh, tuesday looks more interesting first off it's going to be much colder tuesday and wednesday but we could also see a, maybe a little bit better chance of snow plus the wind's going to be blowing too so it's going to be just miserable there uh tuesday into wednesday in fact look at the long range temperature trends here a couple of days that where we won't get to 20 degrees there tuesday and wednesday and then we'll start to see some temperature recovery later in the week back closer to average by the 25th of february which will be friday of next week here there are some signs that maybe not as warm as what we'll see this weekend but next weekend might still at least see some temperature recovering back to near or a little bit above average for this time of the year so taking a look at a couple of long range models for next week this is monday morning as that colder air is working its way in so again there's that small chance of snow for monday afternoon monday evening i'm not including much of a chance but then maybe tuesday a little bit of snow this is the european model here and then some models even actually have a little bit more coming into wednesday and thursday here we'll see gfs though the two models are not aligned real well right now which is why i'm not too confident in that forecast for next week yet but here's monday the colder air coming in monday uh probably not much snow again the chances of snow pretty low there monday but then tuesday a little bit better chance of some accumulating snowfall and then maybe even into wednesday and thursday we still may see a little snow snow uh by thursday the snow shifts away from us here and that's the gfs model so there's a little bit better chance we might sneak in some snow next week compared to what we're seeing for this week but a lot of cold air is going to be on the way next week so really take advantage of that 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday time frame right now because like I said, I think we're going to see a really nice stretch of weather and we may not get that warm again until sometime in March the way it looks right now because yeah, we are approaching the end of February. We're only, uh, what, we're 13 days left in February? Yeah, so we're in the second half of the month now. March is not too far down the road here and uh, so yeah, next week, not real nice compared to what we're seeing these uh, next few days. Even these these next few days with a lot colder again, next week looks a lot worse. So, Well, with that, I'm going to let you all go. I want to thank you all for watching on this Wednesday. I hope it is a good one for you. I will see you all again on Thursday. Until uh, next time, take care. God bless. Bye.